Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and uh, today I'm going to share latest professional knowledge questions right uh, from the month of October October late October and November right latest questions uh, mostly we are focusing on RBI circulars so very important class students uh, and let's start and yes uh, before starting let me tell you that we have started a uh, crash course for the Bank of India credit officer exam uh, link to the full course is available in the description. Please check the description and uh, you can boost your scores in this last two weeks, right? So let's start the session with important eight questions that I'm going to share today. So as per the latest RBI circulars, what is the risk weight of retail portfolio of banks? First of all, what is what is retail portfolio? You should know what is retail portfolio of banks? This question is answered here. Uh, the what is retail portfolio? See, a business, this segment uh, comprising of individuals and small businesses with a turnover of up to 50 crore, right? It is, it is not just individual, but, but also small businesses with a turnover up to 50 crore and, and the threshold is 7.5 crore. So up to the loan of 7.5 crore and uh, to the individual and small businesses whose uh, turnover is less than 50 crore that is uh, that is a retail portfolio this is the definition of retail portfolio i hope you got it what is a retail portfolio okay as per the latest circular of rbi the exposure uh, the retail portfolio exposure the risk weight on uh, on this portfolio on the retail portfolio has been uh, you know assigned as 75% it is 75% the risk exposure on retail portfolio has been reduced to uh, it is now 75% right okay so this limit used to be uh, 5 uh, 5 crore but now it is 7.5 crores and the the risk weight is 75% so important points these two questions are about this thing okay now as per the latest rbi circular the risk weight of retail portfolio please watch my basal norms video right to understand the risk weight, uh, so all the assets that a bank holds, risk weight is assigned. Okay, so please go through the Basel norms video available in the course. So I have already told you it is uh, how much it is 75 percent. So risk weight to the retail portfolio is 75 percent. And what is a risk port uh, risk? You know, portfolio of a bank, individual and small businesses. Uh, exposure means loan value. Jo loan value hai, if it is less than 7.5 crore. It is a uh, it is a retail portfolio. Pehle 5 crore hota tha, but now it is 7.5 crore. Theek hai? Let's move forward to the question number three. As per the latest circular, banks can acquire and hold SLR securities uh, issued on or after 1st September in held to maturity category, subject to an overall limit of 22%. Pehle ye 19.5 hota tha, up to which date? So now the banks are allowed to you know, uh, to acquire the SLR securities, right? Its date hai. as per the latest circulars, banks are allowed to hold the SLR securities in HTM category with an overall limit of 22%. But this is allowed till 31st of March 2022. Okay, what are SLR securities? Dated securities of government, T-bill, state development loans. Okay, these are SLR securities. So bank are total asset ka that much they can uh, you know uh, keep. So, uh, third answer is C, 31st of March 2022 till 31st of March 2022. Uh, this limit has been enhanced to 22%. It used to be 19.5%. Till 31st of March 2022, this limit is 22%. As per latest RBI circular, risk weight threshold for retail housing loans, retail housing loans for loans whose LTV, what is loan to value ratio? You bought a house. Let's say a house ka value is 1 crore. Hai? A bank gave you a loan of 80 lakhs. A bank gave you a loan of 80 lakhs. What is the LTV ratio? Loan to value ratio is 80%. Okay. And uh, let's say there is another case, uh, right, where the loan given is just 60 lakhs. Loan given is 60 per, uh, lakh. So 60% 60 is the LTV ratio. Let's say if the value of property goes down by 20%. Let's say the property or uh, value of property goes down by 20%. There is high probability. There is a higher probability in this case that the uh, borrower 
can default while if that person already paid 40 percent then obviously there is not that much probability of you know default that is why the risk weight is different the limits changed so up to 80 000, 80 uh, if the ltv ratio is uh, less than 80 percent risk weight is 35 percent if the ltv ratio is 80 and 90 percent uh, more than uh, 80 but less than 90 percent uh, the risk weight is 50 percent okay so please remember that 35 percent and uh, 50 percent okay uh, normally till 31st of march only this is the criteria uh, it used there were two criteria the uh, the ltv ratio and the loan value was the the ticket size or the loan value was one of the criteria there were two criteria ltv ratio and loan size but to give a boost to the real estate sector the loan size criteria has been removed from the equation till 31st of march 2022 please remember that okay so his answer is b if it is ltv ratio is less than 80 percent 35 percent is a you know uh, risk to uh, weight threshold for the retail housing loans but if it is between 80 and 90 percent it is 50 percent okay it is but uh, it is 50 percent okay so i guess it's 50 percent here it's 50 percent okay yeah the answer is c i guess i copied the same uh, explanation from the previous question so answer is c please remember okay reserve bank had uh, constituted a committee to review the current system of quick response code qr code you might have seen those you know uh, small uh, codes you know as, as codes hote hai, as, as dot dots hoti hai. so quick response code first of all the full form of qr codes quick response codes a committee has been constituted by the Reserve Bank of India to make recommendations for the, uh, the QR code system in India. Right now, there are uh, two uh, QR code uh, platforms, UPI and Bharat QR codes. Uh, the Deepak Fata Committee, Professor Deepak Fata Committee, uh, rec made recommendations to RBI and that has been accepted. And uh, Deepak uh, Fatak said the major recommendation was that right now UPI and Bharat uh, QR codes are there and these two uh, platforms should continue and uh, proprietary platforms should not be allowed. Proprietary platforms should not be allowed. Okay. And if there is any proprietary QR code platform that should be shifted to either UPI or Bharat QR. Okay. So Deepak Fatak A is the correct answer. Deepak Fatak. Okay. Please remember that as per the RBI guidelines for housing finance companies. So HFCs are under the uh, now uh, RBI is monitoring uh, the HFCs. Nabad used to do that, but now uh, it's HFCs, right? <coughs> uh, NHB was used, uh, doing that. Sorry. So uh, HFC shall maintain a liquidity buffer in terms of liquidity coverage ratio. What is the deadline to maintain? a minimum 100% of LCR, a minimum 100% of LCR. So minimum LCR, what is LCR, right? A buffer actually, right? For uh, what is the definition? The housing finance companies should have uh, resources or the, you know, funds to meet their next 30 days of, uh, you know, uh, liquidity requirements. As of now, let's say i mean uh, by 1st of december it should be 50 percent then 60 70 85 by 1st of december 2025 it should be 100 percent okay so all all non-deposit taking uh hfc's with asset size of 10,000 crore or above they need to you know uh they need to maintain this uh you know uh LCR ratio and all the deposit taking obviously they need to uh, maintain this LCR ratio. Okay. So what is the correct answer? D is the correct answer by 1st of December 2025. They need to maintain 100% LCR. Okay. Question number 8. Very important question. The most important question of this lecture. As per, H, uh, as per uh, HFC guidelines, what is the minimum net owned funds requirement? NOF requirement to start a housing finance company in India. 10 crore, 20 crore, 50 crore, 100 crore or none of the above. Very important question here. So the correct answer is 20 crore. So to start a business, uh, to start a business of housing finance as a business as a housing finance company as per RBI guidelines, 20 crore or 20 crore of net owned fund requirement is there. And this is the correct answer. And this is my last question for today. And if uh, a home financer, 
if he is holding the uh, registration uh, you know certificate of registration and net owned fund is below 20 crore he needs to you know uh, reach this 20 crore uh, by uh, you know threshold by 31st of march 2023 right so please remember that most important question of this whole uh, lecture and all these questions are very very important for the upcoming bank of india credit officer exam and also very important for the pnb so credit officer exam please remember that all these questions are very important uh, keep that in mind and bank of india credit officer course is available uh, on bank exam uh, we are providing video classes uh, notes test series you know we got 200 final selections in various credit officer exams and in various credit officer exams in 2019 2020 and uh, test series is there test series is part of the course all the links are uh, available in the description notes are there test series is there by so uh, bank of india credit officer 2018 uh, all these students they took our course and they cracked their respective exam so really really happy for them and vijay bank credit officer so all these students they took our courses in 2019 bank of india exam didn't happen so it happened in 2018 so that's all for today students i hope you like the today's session if there is any doubt in your mind any problem always ask your doubts in the comment section and i'm going to answer your doubts so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye